I saw Willie D talk about this on his channel, and I think one of my subscribers sent me this as well. Shout out to the subscriber who sent me this story. And this is coming out of Houston, Texas, where you have a young girl by the name of Caitlin Simmons, who you see right there on the right, and she's in her cheerleading uniform. She applied for a job at Subway. And if you look on the left of her image, you see the text message that was going on between, I guess, the person that was interviewing her or the person who took her application and probably the person in, draw, in charge of hiring. Now, in the text, it says, girl brought in her application. I'm leaving it on the table for you tomorrow. They said, OK, thanks. How she look? They said, black girl, long, dark hair, shortish. Then they said, oh, no, thanks. I don't want those people in our store. L O L. And they didn't think that this was going to get out there. I'm actually curious, though, who put it out there, who put those text messages out there. I'm glad that they did, because now they have proof that this person was discriminating against this girl from getting a job because of her race. And you know what's so crazy? I'm glad it got out there. And I'm going to tell you why, because what if that girl went in for another interview and, you know, to talk to the person who said those things and said, well, we can't hire you because this, that and the third. They would have straight up lied to her face. And that right there, what they said in that text would have been the real reason. And that girl would not have known. We would not have known. That's why she didn't get hired. You know, a lot of times whenever black people apply for a job and we get the response of we're overqualified or we're underqualified and this, that and the third. And then right behind us comes a white person who doesn't have the qualifications, but they'll get hired. We kind of put into our minds that it had to be some kind of racial undertone as to why we didn't get hired because that overqualified thing. I've never really understood that. I'm like, wouldn't you want someone who's overqualified to do the job because then that means you probably wouldn't have to spend that much time or money just training them because you have to they have to train you and they do have to pay you for your training and that takes time as well but see they like to bring in certain people and it, it's it's like a it's a long it's a process behind that but those of you who actually have worked know exactly what i'm talking about but yeah if they have to even question as to whether or not this is racist or not I question their sanity because this has definitely everything to do with race. She says, I don't want those people in our store. So if I wasn't the most brightest person, I will, um, well, well, let me rephrase that. If I wasn't the most, I would say intellectually inclined person, I would assume that not only do you not want us working at that subway, but you also don't want us there eating there, which means we don't give you business. I need them to find out what particular subway that is. And not one black person needs to go there, not to frequent it whatsoever. Don't even go in there. If you have to use the restroom, if you have to use the restroom, use it outside. I prefer that you pee on the side of their building. Because they expose their self and they also need to find out who, uh, who the uh, hiring person is, whoever that who wrote that, because they need to be exposed and they need to be fired. And they not then they don't need to find another job working for another subway ever again. Had it been left up to me, I would leave them destitute and they'll never have another job. Knowing that that's how they felt. And that was the manager who said that the person who's over that particular subway establishment. That wasn't another employee above the person who she gave the application to. All they saw was black girl. That was it. If they, they, they didn't even have to say they had long hair and they were short. All that person saw was black girl. Now, it could be one of two things. One, the fact that she's black or two, the fact that she's a black girl and she's probably formed in her head or oh, i'm saying she like as if i know the person is a man or a woman they formed in their head that this person is probably like someone they probably see on tv like say love and hip-hop they probably think it's a ratchet person but she could probably be just as professional as the one who put that in that text but she would never know, but that person would never know because they formed in their head that they can't work there because they're black so this lets me know right here another thing 
How many black people have applied to work there before but did not get hired because of that person? But we just never saw the text messages between them and that other person, if there are any text messages at all. So this person most likely has locked out other black teens from getting a job there because they're black. They need to fire that person. They need to find out whoever they are and fire them and put them out there, expose them. They expose everything else, especially about us. Do it to them. Don't give this person any type of cover. I'm looking to see if there's anything else here in the uh, chat. Okay, it says that her friend uh, uh, took the uh, uh, screenshot. So that lets me know that the person she gave the application to is a friend of hers who works there. It's probably somebody who's um, most likely white who uh, gave her that and sent, um, and sent it back to her. And then that's when she showed her mother and then they said they contacted the subway. They said she heard from the regional manager. It said she didn't apologize. She just said, please get back to me so we can get to the store, so we can get to the bottom of this and talk about it. And that was it. And they said um, they never went to the store. They said they where we were told the manager no longer works there. So the thing is the manager either fired themselves or they quit or they were forced out. And it, they basically got out. You know what? When this went out, they probably said, oh, shit, they're coming for me. Let me hurry up and get out of here now. Before they come for me and see the thing is they didn't want to expose them because uh, they were trying to protect themselves. So now at this point, we probably won't even know who who it is. But we know who they were. A racist ass motherfucker. There's no doubt about that. But this is something that a lot of black people have to go through. And this, like I said, whenever they do that whole overqualified, underqualified stuff, that lingo they like to talk, usually a lot of times it's a cover up for what you see in this text. But shout out to her friend for actually holding on to this screenshot and showing it to her and blowing this up because it just pretty much let us know what discrimination practices happen, especially, you know, for, you know, black people. And this girl probably had everything right. And her friend probably told her, you know what? I worked there. Maybe I can find a way to get you a job working here. And she probably wanted to take that job because she wanted to make some money over the summer. School's about to, well, school is pretty much out for everybody almost at this point. So she wanted to make some money. And there's nothing wrong with that. But she got blocked because of the racist manager. It's not uncommon. Maybe this, in fall, we know this could be one of her first racial experiences. This was her wake up call. I'm glad she got it early if it is her first one. After all, it is Texas. Which, by the way, if y'all see my most re- one of my recent videos, uh, a certain demographic will not be the most popular there by the year 2022. And at this rate, it might be a little bit sooner than that, but let's keep our fingers crossed. Y'all let me know what you think about that down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.